everybody and welcome to Henry's Kitchen where today we're going to be making Henry's authentic Jersey style stromboli. Stromboli is very high in calories and in saturated fat and is the number four leading cause of death among middle-aged men in Essex County, New Jersey. So let's get started. We're going to start by making our dough. We want three quarters cups warm water. Then we want one and a half teaspoons active dry yeast. And then one tablespoon sugar and a quarter teaspoon salt. Top it off with two cups flour. Now let's beat it up. You know, there was an Irish pub in New York in the 1800s called McGurk's, and they were famous for serving a beverage with carbolic acid for people that wanted to commit suicide. But they had to discontinue it once they realized they were losing money. Now we'll roll it up into a ball. And we'll just let this set for one hour. Meanwhile, we can start prepping the fillings. Start by dicing the carrots. I wouldn't use too sharp of a knife for this. Dice the cheese. And for our protein, I'll be using a product called the Oscar Mayer Olive Loaf. Dice it up. Okay, so our dough is ready. Let's lay it out on a dry piece of foil. And we just want to roll it out. Maybe to about 10 inches wide. Now we can lay out our fillings, starting with some canned crushed tomatoes, our diced cheese shreds, diced carrots, spackle on some olive loaf bits. And I like to add some pre-spiced curd chunks, some rosemary pricks. Okay, now for the hard part, we have to tuck the edge of it over and then underneath itself and then roll it and repeat, kind of like we did with our weenie bites. This part takes a lot of years to master. I'd say that was pretty good. Now cover it with an egg wash. And finally we'll just flake on some flakes. Okay, so we're going to put our stromboli in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 or 25 minutes until it's crispy and golden. -y. Help me make it through the night Cause I am tired and alone Okay, so now we just want to tear off some of this aluminum foil from the back and the sides. Try to get all of it off. And I like to serve this with a little salsa on the side, but you can use whatever kind of sauce you like. And there you have the authentic New Jersey style stromboli. Damn! Well, thanks for joining us here on Henry's Kitchen, everybody. And as always, I want to say a special thank you to the patrons at Patreon slash Henry's Kitchen for making these videos possible. Thanks, everybody, and have a great week. Help me make it out of bed Cause I am scared